One of the customers we had at the first shop I worked at was this huge publicly traded company that was worth about $60 billion at the time. We did so much work for this company that two of our three buildings were dedicated just to them. For years, we produced production parts for this company, and we always bent over backwards and did everything we could to make them happy. But what's the point in keeping such a big customer if they're letting you go broke? And at what point do you say enough is enough and stop letting them take advantage of you? For their owner of this shop, it was whenever they owed him over $300,000 and was making every excuse not to pay him. This customer had three different manufacturing facilities close to our shop. One of them was an extrusion plant that made things like hydraulic fittings for the product that they manufactured and we supplied all the blanks for that location. We had five CNC lathes with bar loaders to supply the parts that needed to be turned and drilled and we had eight CNC cold saws that would saw hundreds of thousands of blanks for each order. On top of the machining they would use our parking lot to store their raw material which came in bundles of 20 foot long bar stock. They also used our warehouse to store finished blanks until they got ready for them later down the road. We were housing about two million dollars worth of their product and material at our facility and the owner had been going back and forth with them trying to get paid for the work that we had already done but he really wasn't getting anywhere because to them we were just tiny and insignificant but whenever he told them you know if i took all of your material and all of your parts that i'm holding at my facility to the scrap yard i bet i could get more than what you currently owe me you better believe that got their attention because that's when they realized that we could completely shut down one of their locations if we wanted to and probably end up shutting them down for a good while because this was customer specific material and they wouldn't be able to replace it in a day or two. So they started scrambling to set up a meeting with this guy and they actually sent some big wigs from their corporate headquarters in an attempt to intimidate him into backing down. In the meeting, they told him that they looked at the size of his company and the amount of work that they were giving him and said, you can't afford to lose a customer like us. You will go broke. And let me just tell you something about this guy. If there is one thing that you absolutely do not do, that's tell this man that he cannot do something. He will make it his life's mission to prove you wrong and to succeed. And he won't be subtle about proving you wrong. He's going to make it spectacular. Of course, when these big wigs told him that, it made him furious. And he said, from now on, we are cutting all ties and we're not doing any more work for you. And you're going to pay us every dime of what you owe. And you're not going to get a single ounce of your material until you do. He said, I know you have lawyers on every corner, but I've got one too. And if it's a fight you want, then that's what you're going to get. This wasn't the first time he went toe to toe with a giant and it definitely wasn't the last. I saw him do it several times and not once did I see him lose. These guys just didn't know who they were messing with. So while their accounting office fumbled around and didn't pay him, their rent for storing material and finished parts was going up every month, and he wouldn't let them load the first truck until it was all paid in full. And then when they finally got him paid, he told him that our guys was loading the trucks and they could only show up between a certain time and only show up on sunny days. If it even looked like it was going to rain, don't even show up. It took several days to get all their product loaded, and after the last truck left, we didn't do any more work for that company. I was still very young in my career at this time, and I had never witnessed anything like that. And I have to admit, I was scared that those big wigs were going to be right and that we would go under, because at the time, they accounted for at least 50% of our workload. But now I look back and I remember something that the owner told me a few years after all that went down, whenever I took a new position that involved quoting work for customers. I kept worrying that I was too high and I wanted to cut every quote I made. But he told me, companies will let you go broke and starve if you let them. And I would rather watch my machine sit and do nothing than to wear them out doing work that is losing money. It took me a long time to understand what he meant by that. And I believe what he was saying was, don't let anyone intimidate you into sacrificing your dignity. You know what you are worth, so have the courage to stand firm in your beliefs and let no man take your crown.
The owner of that shop is a very good man that took great care of me and my family for nine years, just like he has done with countless other people. And I'm happy to say that his company just celebrated 50 years in business. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our videos. And we'll see y'all next time.